200 years ago, French novelist Honoré de Balzac was here in Verhivnia, where he came to see his beloved Jevelina Hanska, a Polish noble woman who owned this mansion right behind me. This story about one of the most famous French writers is not well known, even in France. In order to celebrate the 220th birthday of Balzac, French-Ukrainian association Balzac Hanska set up a festival dedicated to the novelist life. Today, many activities related to French culture are being planned here. So, let's see what it looks like. Until recently, little was known about the time Balzac spent in Ukraine, and the mention of Madame Hanska was seen only as an agricultural school. More than 20 years ago, French entrepreneur and president of the association Balzac Hanska, Jean Roche, visited the village and made an incredible discovery. I discovered it while on a trip to Berdichev 20 years ago. I arrived and I was told, oh, another French in Berdichev. I was surprised and asked why. And I was brought to the church where Balzac got married. And on the church, there was a medallion with the inscription, this is where Balzac married Miss Hanska. Then I realized that it's been nearly 200 years since a French person visited this area. And I was really amazed. So I fell in love not only with Ukraine, but also with the story about Balzac living here. Balzac visited this mansion twice in 1847 and in 1848 and wrote a part of his masterpiece La Comédie Humaine. Thanks to the works of Jean Roche, the residents of this region found out more about this story. People can even visit the small museum dedicated to the novelist. I keep in touch with the head of the museum and the tour guide and they tell me that buses full of people who are interested in Balzac and the time he spent in Ukraine come here almost every week. Therefore, I can say there's a lot of fans of Balzac in Ukraine. And it's not only Ukrainians who come here, but people from Poland and France. A French delegation from Tours, the writer's native city, came to Verhivnia for the Balzac Fest, as well as representatives from Poland. A partnership between the city of Tours and Zhitomir in Ukraine was signed this year. The first deputy mayor of Tours, Jacques Chevchenko, has Ukrainian roots. In the beginning, the mayor of Tours didn't know that Balzac was linked to Ukraine and that he got married to a lady who lived here in this mansion. So the first thing I did was tell the mayor about this story and describe the link with Verhivnia for the 220th birthday of Balzac. People who came to the Balzac Fest can enjoy not only exhibitions about Balzac, but also French and Ukrainian songs. The day before, in Kyiv, a skirted bust of the French novelist was unveiled in the capital in the presence of the ambassador of France to Ukraine, Étienne de Ponsin. The ambassador stressed the importance of keeping the story of Balzac's connection to Ukraine more known, with the help of a new museum and tourist circus. Reported by Pierre Mareczko, UATV.